LinkedIn is the most important social media platform for you to be leveraging. There are 433 million people using the LinkedIn platform. Lawyers are using social media, lawyers are using LinkedIn. So when your clients, your potential clients are doing research on LinkedIn, if you're not there, they can't find you, but they are gonna find a lawyer. Here's what you've got to know. One, people are gonna judge your profile. Almost everyone in this room raised their hand when I asked if you had a LinkedIn profile. Only a couple of people raised their hand when I asked if they thought the profile was optimized. If you have a profile and it's not really a good reflection of your personal brand or your firm's brand, people are gonna make a judgment. And if folks are looking on social media for you, they're looking on LinkedIn for you and they don't see you, they're gonna have make a judgment, right? Because the, the website has become such a, a huge platform for professionals, especially for lawyers. The other is you've got to warm up cold connections in order to be influential. LinkedIn makes it easy for you to connect, but it makes it easy for you to be lazy, right? Because LinkedIn will suggest people that you can connect with, God bless you, will suggest people that you can connect with, but then make it easy to push the little button so it sends them that um, random, generic, um, LinkedIn connection request. Well, you don't have to send that. You can take another step, go to that person's profile, and then look at look at the profile, find something interesting to say, and then ask them to connect. Now, why are you doing that? Because you're warming these people up. You have to go back to the reason that you're on LinkedIn. So this is why we started with this. You have to have a goal for being on LinkedIn because when you have a goal for being on LinkedIn, everything that you do is gonna support the goal. So if one of the goals is to meet connectors and influencers, right? That's one of the goals. Then you're not gonna send a random LinkedIn request with nothing on it because that's not gonna help you connect. Your status updates amplify your story. Here is what I mean by that. You're building a personal brand on LinkedIn. You are. You're building a personal brand on every social network that you're on. You're building a personal brand when you show up at conferences and you interact with people, right? What people see about you, what they think they know about you, will impact how influential you are to them, right? And so status updates allow you in 600 characters to share some information that someone may find interesting. And you're sharing information that one shows that you're thoughtful, you're sharing information that shows that you are aware of what's happening in your industry. I thought that this was useful for clients to know because of whatever reason you think is useful for clients to know that. And you didn't have to do the hard work of writing out the whole article that you're sharing. Someone else wrote it, a leader in your industry. And now you've just shown the people who you want to connect with that you're paying attention to what's happening in the industry. Your LinkedIn post will expand your influence. Now, the LinkedIn posts I'm talking about here are a part of the LinkedIn publishing platform. The LinkedIn publishing platform will allow you to publish full blog posts. Or what I tell our clients to do is create a bit of a summary, but still insightful summary of a blog post that you have on your website, and then tell your people on LinkedIn to go over to your website to get more information. We have people who've doubled their web traffic using LinkedIn blog posts. Because the LinkedIn blog posts by themselves were very informative and they had a bit of a teaser so that people could go get more information. Now don't misuse this tip. You can't have a summary on LinkedIn that's not useful or people will not like it and it will not help to expand your influence, right? You have to have it be really good, that summary, really give a taste so if they didn't go to their website, they would feel, still feel that they spent had value in spending that time with you but they wanna go over to your website to get more. Company pages expand your law firm's footprint. So a LinkedIn company page will allow you to attach different members of your firm's profile in one place. So that's, that way you expand your footprint, right? You have a larger footprint because you can show, I ask you lawyers, but it's true for specialists. If you have other specialists who are employed by your firm, your LinkedIn page gives you one central place where people can find out and be connected to those lawyers or those specialists, those experts, 
and it allows you to share information about your practice more consistently than you may feel comfortable doing it on your personal profile. 